what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video i am going to be doing one of my most requested tutorials literally for months if you didn't know right now i'm in the middle of a series trying to get up a look with every single natasha denona and pat mcgrath palette that i own so this one was the most requested it's one of my favorites i wanted to get my favorites out of the way this is the natasha denona gold palette i actually already do have another tutorial on this palette up on my channel it is in conjunction with my review of this palette uh, it's more of a green look so since i already played with the greens and blues in this palette i wanted to play with the golds because it is a gold palette after all this is the look we will be doing i hope you guys are excited for this tutorial so let's just get into it from the gold palette i'm taking the shade dijon which is a beautiful mustard color and that's going to be our transition color so just put that everywhere Next, I'm going for this mid-tone brown, which is called Teak, and I'm taking a more precise blending brush, and I'm focusing that on the inner and outer corners, and then blending that across the whole crease, just to begin the depth in the look. Now we're going in with a deep brown, which is the shade Log, and using an even more precise blending brush, I am blending that, focusing in the outer and inner corner especially, and then using windshield wiper motions just to kind of meet the two ends. Using the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer and the A18 brush from Anastasia, I'm creating a spotlight halo eye, so it is going to be cut crease at the top, so I am working on getting that definition on the top as well. Taking the shade Oro, which is one of the standout golds in the palette, I'm first going to use my finger to apply the initial base color because that's what's going to give it the bam with the texture of the shadow just fingers are best and then I'm using a detailed brush to kind of fill in the rest of the concealer So taking Kava, which is a sheer color with really just glitter, I'm applying that to the middle of my lid just to add a pretty sparkle effect on top of the gold. And then I'm going to be taking Sparks, and that's another glitter shade, and I'm just applying that straight to my inner corner. Alright, now we're ready to move on to the face. I'm taking the Catrice HD Liquid Foundation, which by the way is my brand new favorite drugstore foundation it is amazing and i'm just blending that into my skin with a beauty blender for anyone curious this foundation has a soft matte finish it's very blurring to the skin um it's not very natural like you can tell you're wearing makeup but it's just such a pretty and perfect finish and it's literally 11 dollars. like please go out and purchase this foundation right now Next, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. Now, I've had this guy for a while and haven't really played around with it too much. I have mixed feelings about it. Sometimes I wear it and I love it, and sometimes I wear it and I'm just not too sure. Um, but it has decent coverage, so yeah. <laughs> Next, I'm taking the classic Cody Airspun like $5 powder from Walmart, and I'm just using that to set into my face, pressing the powder into wherever I wanted it. And you're telling me I shouldn't worry cause I'm so so I picked up this City Bronzer from Maybelline a couple days ago, and you will see it in a haul, but I've been loving it for, well, the two times I used it, but <laughs> I'm using that to warm up my face. Now I'm taking this peachy deep color from the Natasha Denona Blush Duo, and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheek. Not many people talk about her blush duos. They kind of smell weird, but they have really pretty colors, and I love the formula of them. They just pick up on the brush so well. 
taking this new Maybelline highlighter that I found, which will be in my upcoming haul as well. This is in the shade 250. Am I tripping or was this like supposed to be the Nikki tutorials one and they like changed it? Uh, I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> All right, heading back to the palette to finish my lower lash line, I'm just mixing those two brown colors that we used, and I'm applying them straight to my lash line to really define the eye using a lot of the dark brown color. To finish off the face makeup, I'm using the Catrice Dewy Glow Fixing Spray, which again is new to me, but I think I like it. I, I think I do. Going in with the Pat McGrath lip liner and contour, that is just what I will be using to shade in the lips first. Next, I'm taking the Stila liquid lipstick in the shade Carmelo, and I really hate the formula of this, but love the color. So I'm just blotting it in with my finger, just patting it into the lips just to get the color there. And of course, I had to be super glossy in my lips, so I'm using the Pat McGrath Dare to Bear lip gloss, which is one of my all-time favorite nude lip glosses. Oh my gosh, and the light was getting so annoying. This is why I don't film at this time of day. And here we have it, the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what palette you would like to see next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to subscribe. Bye.